Well, police and SWAT officers swarm a Taylor neighborhood with guns drawn after getting 911 calls about shots fired. It turns out this scare was caused by two teenagers. Jamat Terry is live in Jamat. They are in quite a bit of trouble tonight, to say the least. Yeah, Kimberly, those teens spent most of Friday here at the Taylor Police Station and they were, rele were released to their parents. But they're facing some serious charges after they are accused of firing several rounds towards some homes. And that prompted that mass massive police response. And as you might imagine, it left some neighbors concerned and worried. This was the scene of party in Kensington just outside Colleen Wynn's front door in Taylor. Tactical officers ordered her out of her house. And I was like, can I get a coat? Can I get shoes? He goes, no, you just need to go. Officers took position after several people heard gunshots. The shots were boom, 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 and then maybe 30 seconds later, boom. Police say those shots came from this back deck. That's where two 15-year-old boys decided to grab one of their parents' guns. They were uh, apparently target practicing in the backyard. The only problem, the yard they were firing those shots from backs up to several homes, including Kelly Sutton's. I have a young child that's riding his bike in front of this house all the time, back and forth, and plays in that backyard that is very close. So it's, it's nerve-wracking. The neighbor who called 911 tells me off camera he saw the teens with the gun, and one shot flew right by, narrowly missing him. Ultimately, they could have really hurt someone or killed someone. By the time police arrived, those boys had put the 45 pistol away, but now they're facing serious charges for something they thought was harmless. Poor judgment, but that changes your life, just messing around. Police insist this is a lesson especially for parents with guns. Please lock them up because uh, children get a hold of them and do silly things like this. Now, I did get a chance to catch up with one of the teens involved in this. He admitted that he only fired or pulled that trigger once. His mother picked him up here from the police station, was even surprised that the friend's parents had a gun. She was unaware of it. I can tell you that she had a very long talk, she and her uh, husband, with the 15-year-old about making right decisions because he's in some big trouble because of the decision he made today. Reporting live in Taylor, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Yeah, no doubt, Jermont. You mentioned the parents, though. Do you know if uh, they will face any charges since they own the gun? Well, it's still under investigation, Kimberly, and Taylor police would not say if that gun that they recovered from the house was even registered to the parents. Okay. So that's part of the ongoing investigation at this point. I see. They're still trying to figure that out. Okay, Jermont, we appreciate it.